Are you ready, all stars? Yes, sir. Pitmaster, start your fire. What do we end up with? This big ham, it's a pretty good size. Nice hams, real nice ham. We know how to do that. That's easy. The smoke it whole, season up, smoke it whole. You know, when it comes to this bone in ham, the location is the hind legs of the hog. It is generally a very lean piece of meat compared to the shoulder. It's going to be challenging for them, you know, for them to cook it moist and to retain that moisture in that ham. Do you think we ought to leave the bone in? Well, I think if we uh, debone it, we can get a faster cook on it with our time, and then we can get more seasoning inside the meat. I really don't like doing bone-in hams. They are a pain in the keister. Both of these guys are more familiar and have cooked these hams before. We're going to be the underdogs here. I'm going to prepare this thing like kind of like my mom used to do it on a Sunday morning. Well, season four, I let my fresh ham get a little dry. It was falling apart. It was good, but it wasn't up to my standards. Put it on the cutting table there. This time, I'm going to have to baby this damn ham to make sure that this thing stays moist. We're going to make some squares on this thing. Make it look like a checkerboard, baby. We got to leave a thin layer of fat on top so that fat will render down as it's cooking to help keep that meat in the middle nice and moist. Lemon pepper seasonal accent. Yeah. That's pretty much all you need. Put these cloves in here. Cloves to give it a good flavor. We're going to make it look like a ham. Michael, spell out second place with those, would you? Hey, this is revenge ham. That looks like a grandma's ham for her Christmas table now. Michael calls his a revenge ham because he got beat. I make a winning ham every time. I want to take the inside round out. It's basically, it's called the top round steak. I like the inside round. I like the shape of it so I can have rub all the way around it. I'm a butcher by trade. I've been in the meat business for over 35 years. I've got knife skills, and I know how to use it. David looks like he's all business over there, man. And that's why he's here. He's an all-star. He almost won in season four, but lost out in the finale. You know he's coming back here cooking for redemption. He's a butcher. He knows those muscles. He's very scientific. Our injection is peach juice mixed with our pork injection, made up of hydrolyzed vegetable proteins, a little bit of phosphate, and a whole lot of love. The phosphates will help hold the moisture in the meat. That's part of our cooking with science program we use. <laughs> David, you're turning that, that fresh bone in ham into a porcupine. Well, let's just say it has a needle problem. <laughs> We've got 12 hours to cook this huge ham. It usually takes me about 16. Cutting the bone out means to me a little faster cook. Who knows what Buzzy's doing down there? Man, I tell you what, he's the dark horse here. I don't know what he's doing. That's a lot of damn work. I wouldn't took it up. Just leaving another surface area, not only to catch heat and cook it faster, but to lose moisture quicker. And a ham's already needing moisture. It doesn't have a lot of fat content. Buzzy, you don't like that bone on there? I do, but this is such a big piece of meat. You never heard the saying, closer to the bone, better the flavor? I think I know what I'm going to do with this one. I'm going to surprise you. Hope it's a good surprise. <laughs>